In this video, you will learn how to simulate a four-stage hot forging process using the isothermal analysis module of Avdex 3D, the intelligent metal forming simulator. Let's get started with the process type first. Since the geometries of the workpiece and the dies are symmetric, we will carry out a 3D simulation of a 90 degree sector of the component. The temperature change will not be considered in the simulation. So this will be an isothermal simulation. The information about the material is given on the left side. The dimensions of the workpiece are as shown in the figure on the left. The material of the workpiece is a steel grade and its initial temperature is 1100 degrees Celsius. The final configurations of each stage of the dies are as shown in the picture. The dimensions indicated in the picture denote the distances between the control points at the final stroke of individual stages. Graphite water is used as a lubricant in this forging process. Therefore a corresponding friction formulation will be selected. A 1600 tonnage crank press will be used in the simulation. The problem definition is complete. The result of the simulation would be a forged component as can be seen on the right side. So now, let's see how we can simulate this process using FDEX. Double click on FDEX icon to execute FDEX in your computer. Click on new to define a new process. In this process information window we will clearly define the process type. This is 3D hot forging process. So we will make the selections accordingly. Select hot forming and 3D simulation. We select Newton as the unit of force. So the unit of stress will be megapascal. This will be a flow analysis which means only the mechanical effects of deformation of the workpiece will be considered in the simulation. Select rigid plastic deformation type. This means the elastic component of deformation is neglected in the simulation as it is insignificant. Since this process does not have any flash, Select regular type under flash. Click OK. This is the main window of Avdex. We will use the toolbar to set up the simulation step by step. First step is to import the geometry. Click on model, from file and then select the geometry files in STL format. You must select the geometry files of the workpiece and the dies for all stages. Click open. Note that you can get this geometry file inside your FDEX installation folder. Let's move on to the second step which is to define the material property. Click on material, from library and then select the steel grade AISI underscore 1055, T equals 800-1300 degrees Celsius, and then click load. This will load the material into the simulation. Now click close. The third step is to define the press machine type. As you know, we will use a 1600 tonnage crank press. For using that, click on press, from library. Select JFP1600L. Click load and then click close. The fourth step is to select the friction formulation. Click on friction, from library and then select graphite and water underscore hot, steel, underscore hybrid, click load and then close. We will define a force limit of 1,600 tons for the crank press used in the simulation. This will act as an upper limit of the forming load in the simulation. If the actual forming load in the process is greater than the limit set by the user, the simulation automatically stops. In closed die forging, when the die is closed completely, the load increases dramatically. To define the force limit, click on Force, Manual, Enter 1600 tons in the force limit field and click OK. Since this is a four stage simulation, you must add three more stages to the simulation. To do this, right click on process and click add stage. Do this another two times. You should have four stages finally. The properties that were loaded so far will be assigned to the respective entities now. Select the geometry file ending with wp.stl drag it and drop it over the workpiece of stage 1. Select the geometry file ending with u1.stl, drag it and drop it over the upper die of stage 1. Select the geometry file ending with l1.stl, drag it and drop it over the lower die of stage 1. Select the geometry file ending with u2.stl, 
drag it and drop it over the upper die of stage 2. Select the geometry file ending with L2.STL, drag it and drop it over the lower die of stage 2. Select the geometry file ending with U3.STL, drag it and drop it over the upper die of stage 3. Select the geometry file ending with L3.STL, drag it and drop it over the lower die of stage 3. Select the geometry file ending with U4.STL, drag it and drop it over the upper die of stage 4. Select the geometry file ending with L4.STL, drag it and drop it over the lower die of stage 4. Right click on the steel grade and select to work pieces. This will assign the material grade to the work pieces in all the stages. Now right click on JFP1600L and then select to upper dies. This will assign the press type to the upper die. Right click on graphite and water underscore hot, steel, underscore hybrid and then select to upper and lower dies. This will assign the friction formulation to the upper and lower dies of all the stages. Right click on F equals 1600 tons and select to upper dies. Now we have completed the definition and assignment of properties to the dies and the workpiece. The next step is to position the dies properly. For this, we will use the positioner tool of Avdex. Double click on stage 1 and click on positioner icon on this toolbar. Click auto icon. This will enable automatic positioning of the dies. In the prompt window that opens, click no to not initialize the position for all the stages. Now click OK. Now it's time to define the planes of symmetry. Double click on SYMM underscore plane of stage 1. This opens the Define Symmetry Planes window. Now select the two planes of symmetry in the workpiece. After making sure that the two planes of symmetry are properly selected, click OK. The next step is to define the stroke values for every stage. For stage 1 stroke definition, double click on Forming 1. This will open the Forming Control window of stage 1. Select distance from the drop-down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 80.0. This is the stop criterion for the stage, meaning that, when the stroke reaches this value, the solver will automatically move on to the next stage. In the case of a 3D simulation, we have to define the nodes between which the stroke value is defined. Click on the three dots next to the distance value that you entered. Now select two points one on the upper die and the other on the lower die and click OK. The order of selection does not matter. When the distance between these points reaches 80 mm, the value that you entered for stroke, the simulation will stop. Click on Reset and enter a value of 1100 in the temperature field. Click OK. Now the properties of the stage 1 are all set. We have to similarly define the stroke values for remaining stages. For stage 2 stroke definition, double click on forming 2. This will open the forming control window of stage 2. Select distance from the drop down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 73.5. Click on the three dots next to the distance value that you entered. Now select two points, one on the upper die and the other on the lower die and click OK. Click OK in the forming control window. For stage 3 stroke definition, double click on forming 3. This will open the forming control window of stage 3. Select distance from the drop down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 74.5. Click on the three dots next to the distance value that you entered. Now select two points, one on the upper die and the other on the lower die and click OK. Click OK in the forming control window. For stage 4 stroke definition, double click on forming 4. This will open the forming control window of stage 4. Select distance from the drop down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 56.3. Click on the three dots next to the distance value that you entered. Now select two points, one on the upper die and the other on the lower die and click OK. Click OK in the forming control window. Double click on process control, click on I default, scroll down to 56 and enter a value equals 1. This is an index for controlling material penetration into the die gap. Click OK. 
We are almost done with the simulation setup process. We just have to save the simulation, check, and run it. Click on the save icon, enter a file name. Click save. Your simulation file is now saved. The final step is to check the simulation to see if we have set it up correctly. Click on the tick mark button on the toolbar. In the window that opens, click check. This will let you know the error messages if there are any. The notice messages can be ignored at this step. After making sure that there are no error messages, click run. This area shows stage-wise and overall progress of the simulation. On the right side are the different state variables that can be visualized based on the simulation. You can explore more on this section to investigate the state variables of your interest. The media tools here allow you to visualize the deformation behavior of the process.